r slash place was a collaborative project and social experiment hosted on the social networking site reddit that began on april fool's day of 2017 thank you wikipedia for writing something that i would probably never write so uh yeah i'm just gonna take that uh but anyway uh for those who don't know what r slash place is it is in a nutshell a uh, thousand by a thousand pixel social art experiment thing where basically you um you have five to twenty minutes it's random to draw a singular uh pixel like put a single pixel on this big canvas which should be on screen right now so yeah this happened around five years ago and when a couple people in the stickbot community including myself heard that there was going to be a half a decade five year anniversary r slash place part two then we knew that this was probably our best chance to put a stickbot on there this is the story how stickbot attempted and miserably failed to invade r slash place On April 1st of 2022, Chuzzles uh, tried to ping everyone in the StickBot Central server saying that because r slash place 2 is coming out, we should put StickBot on the board. After finding what I thought was a good spot right next to uh, some flags and stuff, I thought that because it was slightly less popular and not many people were editing it, it would be a perfect spot because there are currently a lot of grievers on r slash place, which is kind of the point of it in a way. It's just a, it's very interesting to see what people do. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to build it here. I also wanted to pick Scion because it's a very well-known color with stick bots. Then I proceeded to ping and promote this as much as we could so that way we could get as many people as possible to help, you know, this event thing. Now see, there was one major problem for me at least. I was on vacation, so I had to create another account to do all this. And so, funny story, I don't know how, but for whatever reason I'm banned from posting anything on the, um, uh, stickbot subreddit for reasons I don't know so uh, yeah if anyone could fix that I would really like that but um, so basically when I create a new account even though it's under a different IP address it still banned me so I couldn't post anything on there anyway after some trial and error Chuzzle thought it would be a good idea to put it in the corner of the Switzerland flag which makes sense wasn't much work we didn't even technically need to do an outline just a face now see one of our biggest hurdles was asking people if we were allowed to do it because uh, well, I mean, you wouldn't want it to be griefed, right? You wouldn't want it to be destroyed. So one of our biggest hurdles through this entire project was no one knew what a stickbot was. So, yeah. And even when you explained it to them, they didn't always get back. So you never even have full permission. But eventually, we actually did find a place. And we started building. And it was actually going pretty well. Even some people who were unintentionally helping were still helping. There was even a couple people who were trying to place random black spots as a joke or like to grief us, but they actually placed them in the perfect spot of the eyes and mouth. And even though it kind of looked like a reddish-orange turd, it was still hope. And after what I think was over three grueling hours, we actually finished it, kind of. And since I was getting off, I told Chuzzle if he wanted to, he could edit it. Eventually, Chuzzle was starting to fix it up, and things were going pretty well. We thought that maybe we should move it up for a second, but I thought it was too risky, so we could change it to light blue and that's kind of what we wanted to do but because it barely resembled a stick bot uh, he wanted to basically make it a whole new area in a place that was kind of dirty and you could clean it up so because you're technically fixing it it would have worked perfectly because no one would have grieved it for a bit but while he was working on this something crazy happened the map copied itself basically well basically what they did was they just expanded the map so it was way bigger and this was amazing even though this isn't technically the best footage of it at first it was completely blank which means you could start to fill in whatever you want with it so Chuzzle chose to put them right there now see if I know those coordinates are pretty blurry but if they look any familiar to you that's because that's where the big creepy smiley face was he basically put it there and when people were building that it was completely demolished so I knew we had to have a new idea but I still like the blank canvas idea so we tried to build there so right above or below the big creepy smiling thing, I found this other cute smiley face, but there were too many people around it, so it was hard to edit it. And while all of this was going on, they destroyed the previous stickbot. Then we started asking people again. And back where we were starting to build the original stickbot, a circular sphere was appearing. 
So we eventually wanted to turn this into a stick bot, and that went okay. We started to get some facial features, but there were too many people editing it. So that became a pretty big difference between the stickbot we wanted to make and the stickbot we had. And that's pretty much where it ends. Was it a fun experience? Yes. Was it painful? Yes. Was it fun? Yes. Was it painful? Yeah. Yeah, you get my... I, yeah, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's the story of how a stickbot invaded our slash place, kind of, and failed miserably. But yeah, that was fun. Thank you guys for watching.